I've got a controversial opinion here, right? Controversial hot take. Put yourself in Brendan's shoes, right? If you put yourself in Brendan's shoes, do you have a reason to be annoyed with Joe Rogan for not letting you perform at the Comedy Mother Store or Comedy Mothership, sorry, Mother Store, for the Comedy Mother, at the Comedy Mothership? Would you, if you were Brendan, be a little bit annoyed at Joe Rogan because he was okay with letting you perform at the comedy store back in the day. He would invite you on, have you on his fucking set. So most likely they all saw him perform. This is the thing you have to keep in mind. All of those guys saw Brendan's material for you be surprised and probably Gringo Pappy because he's probably working on it for ages and that's how good it was. So they probably all saw how good, quote unquote, Brendan was at comedy back when he started we didn't have any we didn't have any content because remember brendan for a long time refused to upload material of himself on social media especially after you'd be surprised he was very scared and very worried about getting clowned and laughed at so he didn't put any content up now that everybody started doing crowd work he started to get a bit more comfortable but he never did so we never had any evidence of how bad he was at stand-up until you'd be surprised came out but then after that it was a bit silent so if you're brendan do you think you have a right to be annoyed at rogan for being okay with you to perform at a comedy store back in the day when he was living in LA and now suddenly he gets to Austin and he's had a he's had a fucking uh, an awakening F suddenly now he's he's got um he's he has flipping taste suddenly how he has qual suddenly now he has quality control suddenly now he can be somewhat objective about his friends and say you know what even though I'm your friend and I like you I'm not going to let you perform at my store because on my club because you're not funny enough does Brendan have a right to be a little bit annoyed about it? I think he does, personally. I think Brendan has every right to be a little bit annoyed. You're okay with me to perform at the comedy store, but now at the comedy mothership, you don't want me. I'm kind of pissed if I'm Brendan. I'm not going to lie. Even though he's unfunny and he doesn't deserve to be there, I'd be a little bit annoyed. There has are, to be a standard. Someone there has, has to, to be a, a fucking standard. standard. So this, that's, this like, that's like the same thing you'll see in my comments or maybe in yours on Red. Like, oh, why aren't you playing the mothership, Brendan? I don't deserve to be there. I don't, I, I, and me and Rogan have had this conversation. I'm not there yet. There, there's guys like you, like to me, and I'm not just saying, Big J's one top five doing it right now. So, if, uh, yeah. Playing to the crowd. But don't you find that hilarious that he's saying this now? Do you remember what he said on the Amphi An is it Anthony Cumia show or whatever when he asked him about the comedy mothership? And he started stuttering and shit and mentioned how he didn't have time to go and him and Brian were going to perform there and blah, blah, blah. Nah. So he knew from the beginning why Joe Rogan didn't let him perform there but never said, okay, no problem. It's not our business anyway. But I think if I'm Brendan, especially considering how warped his brain is, I would be legitimately annoyed. Why was it okay to invite me at the comedy store to play with you guys? And remember, back in the day, I wish I could find a fucking set list of when brendan used to perform at the comedy store because those joe rogan and friend shows at the comedy store joe rogan invites they were crazy crazy like i think there was there were legit sets where brendan was performing on the same bill as like bill burr and shit i swear to god i wish i could find a set list but i remember people posting it on rogan's subreddit or maybe the fight and the kids subreddit posting the set list and brendan was performing with fucking heavyweights like joey diaz bill burr jessel nick and stuff like mad people he's performing because rogan would invite him so rogan was all right to invite him then when he was like less than five years into comedy and it was okay and then suddenly when he gets away from him and he's in Austin, suddenly now he gets the courage to say, you know what, you can't perform there. If I'm Brendan, I'm a little bit annoyed. I, you know, obviously not rationally, objectively not. But if I'm Brendan, I'm kind of pissed off. I'm not going to lie. I, I am. His special was insane. So I see that stuff. I see Tim Dillon. I see Mark Norman. Those are Louis J. Shows, Gomez, Louis, Dave Smith, Dave all these Smith, guys. Hundred percent, hundred percent. He was gonna get to us. Yeah, I was gonna get to you. I Give him time. He's gonna make it down. We're gonna go through like go, thirty more comments. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll get there. Down. I'll get there. But so, I shouldn't be there. I, I don't want to go there and get backlash. Like I want when they invite me to be a headliner, I'll know it's my time. All right, I don't want to recreate the comedy store for me. I don't. No, want no, no. That's why. That's why not. Stand up lets you know. Stand up lets. He went to get an applause break. You see that? He looked at the crowd to give, to give him an applause break for being somewhat self-reflective um, and self-aware. It's like, bruh, you should have known this from ages ago. You're not fucking 12. You're in your 40s. Like, come on, man. But whatever. Fair enough. He admitted it. He owned up to it. That's cool. But again, I just find all these guys so full of shit. Everything that they're saying is what we repeat, what we were saying from before. And we're only repeating the things that they said. 
they told us how important it was to get past. They told us how important it is to be good at stand up, to be a good comedian, to make people laugh, um, to not steal jokes, to, you know, whatever, whatever it was, right? They told us all these things. They gave us all these checklists of pe things that people should do to be rated as a stand up comedian. Then we see somebody like Brendan coming who does the complete opposite of everything, and we're meant to just like pretend we don't see what we're seeing. It's like, come on. But anyway, like I said, I think Brendan. If the if the standard was, I think maybe what actually happened, what actually happened probably, was, do you remember when your friends are in school move away, like an old friend of yours goes to college or something somewhere away, and sometimes certain people get cut off or they replace other people. I think that's what happened. Rogan, even though he's a big he's a big man, he's an adult with kids and shit. Um, I think he just moved away, and suddenly he got new friends. And suddenly he was into newer things. He's got newer interests and shit. And, you know, in the process of that happening, he suddenly was like, you know what? Maybe this guy isn't as good as he seems, as, as I thought he was, you know? And then it, his brain kind of, it kind of clicked in his brain that he should operate a different way. I think it's a good thing because overall, what it will do, hopefully, you'd hope, again, this is the hope. This is my Christian hope in me, is that it will somehow remind brendan of what's the important thing the important thing is to be funny so maybe he will see the fact that he's been because it's quite you know it's quite embarrassing in a way right because he's one of joe rogan's closest friends on podcast terms he's got the most appearances on the jerry but he's not followed by the mothership and he doesn't perform there brian Callan went to perform there even fucking eric griffin that moaning miserable cunt he went and performed there do you know what i mean and i i would say as far as saying like i think if Chris D'Elia had a better personal relationship with Rogan. I think even Chris D'Elia probably could have performed there before Brendan. So that's kind of embarrassing that he's that close of a friend to Rogan and he obviously can't perform there. But maybe that embarrassment will make him go back to the lab, start writing again and try to improve so that he can perform there and stuff it to the haters. Maybe. It's unlikely, but maybe that could happen. So maybe he might get good at stand-up just to prove the haters wrong, which is a good thing, good motivation. Sometimes you need hate as a good motivation. I truly believe that. You need sometimes an opposition, just build it up in your head. Like, um, who's that guy? Like Anthony Smith, the UFC fighter, right? Anthony Smith during that fight, I think, I forgot who it was, with Johnny Walker. He just started screaming at him like, what do you do to my family? And Johnny Walker was like, what? Like, I didn't touch your family. But Anthony Smith has this thing where he kind of plays in his head that the fighter across from the ring from Octagon from him is like somebody that you know came in and fucking raped his wife and you know i don't know uh, tied up his kids and shit so maybe brendan needs that motivation he needs to see all these haters on those reddits on the live streams like mine and other youtubers and stuff laughing at him pointing at him and say haha you haven't performed at your friend's club and maybe that might make him think you know what fuck it i'm gonna write 100 beans cheese jokes and i'm gonna get on that chase i'm gonna get on that fucking stage one way or the other I'm going to write 1,000 bean cheese jokes and you're going to see me there. So maybe he's going to do that. Who knows? Who fucking knows?